This warden is simply evil. She stripped the girl of her clothes, hanged her with a rope. Then she put her in a special torture device. Then she flipped the switch. Then the floor beneath the girl's feet parted to the sides. She slowly opened the girl's legs in this way. Then, she slowly pushed the furnace under the girl. That day a group of prisoners came to the prison. The warden was angry and asked Mary for her information. Then she pushed her in. After some examination, she was put into a cell. There were other inmates in the cell. Lily, Jenny, and Nancy. As the saying goes, where there's a fight, there's a fight. At this point Nancy was called out by the warden. Then she came to the warden's room. What happened next you can imagine. Jenny was shaking all over. It turns out she's a drug addict. She has been working for others to get the special drugs. And this time Jenny's target is Mary. When Nancy and Lily got into a fight, Jenny pushed Mary into her. Luckily, she only cut her clothes. When the warden found out, he took Lily away. In the interrogation room, she saw all kinds of torture instruments. Lily was very scared. After Lily was tortured, she still had to work with the others. The pain between her legs was so intense that she passed out. This warden is not a normal person at all. Not only did she like to use all kinds of torture, her sexual orientation was also very special. This day Jenny was taken to the warden's boudoir. Then the warden put her hand on her shoulder. And then, but Jenny suddenly slapped her. The angry warden stripped her naked. She tied her to the turntable. Then, she used the stove to punish Jenny. The next scene you can imagine. These two girls suddenly dispose of the warden. Then they escaped. But can they really escape so easily? That day some officials came to inspect the prison. They asked Mary about her life in prison. Seeing the kindness of the officers, Mary thought she'd met a good man. Then she exposed the practices of the warden. But after hearing this, the officials just left. Then Mary was taken away by the guards. She was put in the sewers. It was filthy and leeches that kill people. Not to say stay a day. The average person can't even stay a minute. But Mary was locked up for days. During this time, she was thrown acid by another woman. Mary screamed and screamed. No one knew what she was going through. That day Mary was released from prison. But the warden didn't calm down her anger. She stripped her naked again. She tied wires to her body. Then she activated the switch. This is an all-women's prison. In one cell. Four female prisoners are discussing escape plans. But the prison is heavily guarded. And there are jungle swamps outside the prison. Even hunters are after them. The prisoners could not find a way out. On this day, the prisoners who escaped before were returned by the hunters, but they were already corpses. This made Mary's idea of escaping from prison even stronger. They found a reason to make the guards open the door. Then they knocked out the guards. They made their way to a dungeon in the night. If they open the sewers, they can escape. But they were discovered by the warden who was out on patrol. The woman who had finished with the guards came out just then. She knocked out the warden. They went into the sewers together. That was very lucky. With the warden, they could find a way out. They crawled down the sewers. Finally they got out. According to the warden's directions, they crossed the river into the jungle. When they got out, they decided the warden was no longer of use, so they tied her to a tree. They left her with the hunters. But what they didn't expect was, Jenny had a sudden change of heart. She sold Mary to the ship. Mary became a plaything for the men. One day, a man told Mary he was going to take her away. Then the two men fled the place, leaving Jenny alone.